All right, we've got a tarpon sitting right there. I'm just gonna figure out, I didn't get my drop anchor set up yet. Oh, there's like a couple of them here. There's three of them. Four of them. there oh spooked him wanted a shot at the one over there well that's why I've got this pole of being able to truly work these edges Oh, that wasn't the optimum presentation. A little close. Got another one right in there. I really need to, uh, there's two or three of them there. I need to get my drop anchor set up. Really quickly here. Just sitting in that little cove there. Can't cast very well like this because I'm holding on to the pole. I was right on his head. Oh, 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 spooked him. Oh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh. I don't know what that one was. Something hit it. Apparently throwing it right on their head is not the way to go. And there goes three there. Oh, the whole freaking school of them here. There, there. All right, well, got to do a do-over for that move. So I saw about 15 of them, that's good. This is working out good. I just need to get my drop anchor set up. So when I see them staged, I could just put this down, drop that the mushy maker over the side real quietly and then that'll lock me up and then I could uh, cast for them hey everybody how we doing today beautiful day here in the Florida Keys got a little bit of a breeze and it's supposed to die off here this evening a uh, bit cloudy uh, making it tough for visibility but still nice conditions so couldn't pass it up Today's video uh, is basically sponsored by my Patreon supporters because we're finally out here in the back country and I can go out to the reef and the wrecks and offshore now because I got my bilge pump uh, a new one in so I'm safe and sound. Uh, also my headlamp died so I picked up another the same one. This is the Black Diamond, their uh, search and rescue heavy duty one. I uh, really like that light so I bought another one got a secondary GoPro light so one that I could use with the head mount that I'm using now uh, so for my night videos it will be a little bit better there um, we are also testing out for uh, the 15 foot uh, push pole on some legitimate flats here uh, it's working well so far on uh, chasing down those tarpon and then I've got my bait net so uh, I really need to buckle down and take some time and try to get a system going in place for uh, catching blue crabs for permit and tarpon on the Gulf side. So those are some of the things we're going to be working at. Uh, I think I'm going to go make uh, one quick run for some uh, bonefish around here. Then I'm going to uh, take uh, one more pass around for those tarpon. I've given them about a half an hour to hour to settle down. Go a little bit... Uh, sneakier plus I've got my drop anchor set up so that should help with that and uh, after that I'm going to go and drift the flats all the way across to the channel and then all the way back to the next flat and just keep on working that way because we're looking for bones so that's the plan there I don't know I don't know if I can get underneath there
Oh, right there. Oh, don't get stuck in there. Oh. Spooked him out of there. I'll drift another one in. Oh, he's going inside. Man, that first one was a pretty decent throw in there. <sighs> well, I'm super happy that those juvenile tarpon have moved in. I really enjoy chasing those guys, but that's not what we're after today. So I got to break off and focus on the, the original plan. So uh, let me get set up and then uh, we're going to drift this flats over here. So the water should level should be dropping. So I'm going to be looking for any type of movement. And I've got the fly and I've got a bonefish jig on my uh, ultralight esky rod. So let's see what we can do. Okay, off we go. Cruising the flats. Looking for a boner. There goes something swimming across, but I think that is a cooters. Yeah, a cooter. Not what we want. Lose my lure. All right, I got two of them. Oh, let's see if the where they're going for it. Oh, stop there. Looking at it. I need to drop anchor here. Dang it! He wants it. It's coming back for it. Oh, it's got it. There we go. It's coming back at me. Yeah. There we go. That's our bone fish. <laughs> oh, I should use my dip net. Didn't like that. Did not like that. Oh, oh no. There we go. <laughs> Keep you in the water. Ah, oh, perfect. Beautiful net, beautiful pole, <laughs> and beautiful bonefish. Love ya. All about the bait. <laughs> or actually, bam. All right, let's let this guy go. Uh, he's not even tired. All right, thank you. A big old shark right there. Make sure nothing else is sneaking up on me. Ooh, look at you. Kind of big, aren't you? Oh, we got fish all over the place here. That one I think is a permit. This one I don't know. That's the one I was sure is a permit. Let's see if I can pull after him. Yep, that's a permit. Oh, come on.
come on. The fudge. Come on, what the hell, son of a... Oh, God dang it. Oh, please, please, please. Turn on it. Oh, oh, turn on it. Oh, he's looking for it. Oh, he's looking for it. He wants it. Oh, where'd he go? Son of a cracking. There he is. Oh, don't spook. Dang it. All right, let's start moving. Ah, oh, dang it. I see ya. Give me another shot. All right, there you go. Ugh. No, turn the wrong way. Oh no, he spooked. He just slow down. It's okay, be safe or safe. Oh, son of a. <clears throat> I'm chasing down. That thing got stuck right at that beginning. God dang it. All right, I need to get some crabs. I started seeing more permit out there. Uh, so I've got my chum bag. I'm gonna try to pin it towards on the bottom and then hopefully uh, pull crabs up from this kind of sandy area here. And then I've got my uh, dip net. So I just need a few and uh, hopefully this works out and then I've got my bait situation settled. Otherwise, it's gonna be tough. All right, the winds changed from coming out of the south. Now it's coming out of the north. Um, and I'm not having any luck with the blue crabs, although I've not given it really any time. I'm just wasting all this excellent fishing time sitting here waiting for the crabs to show up. So this is the system that I need to work on. It's just not working. Uh, I think I'm going to run to the uh, front side facing Key West get to the flat calm areas, maybe put the chum bag out again to see if I can get some crabs on that side. But I'll be able to scan the whole flat grassy areas and uh, see if I could find some fish on that side. So we'll check it out. All right, I got another permit tailing up over here. That one's feeding, I can tell, because his tail is kicking up pretty high. Looks like there's a couple of them. Got to pass over this channel here. Oh, look at how big that one is. Holy moly. Oh, look how big that thing is. Come on, baby. I think there's two of them like that. You can see his tail sticking up. Oh, he's feeding. Yeah, he's feeding. Oh, son of a... Oh, God dang it. There he goes. Oh, son of a godly! Ugh. Ugh. All right, we're on the south side, facing the Keys or the main US one. It's a negative tide today, so that's why it's so shallow right now, and it's going to get down even farther. If I don't get past this uh, 
by that time I'd be stuck out here for about three or four hours. So I'm going to try to get out into a little bit of depth and then I'll take a look around for fish that are uh, tailing and such. Plus get away from any mosquitoes and uh, no seams. Distance matters, uh, especially uh, when you're on the flats. Uh, you're always just running that fine line between getting up close enough so you can make that accurate cast, but the risk of spooking those fish because just any noise, I mean, your push pole digging into the ground, uh, hole slap from the little waves, you shifting your, shifting your feet, and it just reverberates through that water, especially on those uh, flat, calm, mirror lake type conditions like today, and boom, they're gone and you don't even get a shot off. I've had so many days like that where I just see fish after fish after fish, but I just get up to the point where I feel comfortable, but it spooks them. On the other hand, okay, you can go just right to the edge of your casting abilities and grunt chuck that bait out there and you just kind of lose that uh, accuracy on that part of it and you're right on the edge of the uh, distance for your casting. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, but at least for me, I figure at least you've got a bait in the game uh, versus not even getting a shot. Uh, as you saw today, plunking it on their head does not work. Uh, what Optimally, what I'm trying to do is get 10 foot, 15 foot, 20 foot past them, okay? And then reel it in and then drop that bait in their strike zone, in their vicinity for a much better presentation than trying to splash down right on top of them. That does not work, as you can see. Uh, but today, um, I was using the Esky 7 foot medium light. It's a definitely a floppy rod built specifically for the flat side of it, throwing a uh, 1 8 ounce jig head or a live shrimp with a little split shot or a small little blue crab and being able to chuck that baby out there. Um, I just didn't have it. I just needed that extra 10, 15 foot. And that's just something that we're gonna have to work on in the future. Just like everything else, there's always some sort of issue that uh, comes up that you gotta figure out. And then every time that increases your average. But uh, anyways, uh, if you're going flats fishing and you're not having any luck, Go to allaboutthebait.com and you can get your permit or bonefish shirt and you never go home empty handed. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.